This is everything coming to Apex Legends in Season 14, and all of this is confirmed information released within the patch notes. This is a huge set of patch notes, so I'm going to try my best to smash through it as quickly as possible. Reforged King's Canyon, the big one. Skulltown returns as a new point of interest called Relic, and Cage is opened up completely. There's multiple smaller changes throughout the map to help with rotations and flow. Level cap increase. You can now grind past level 500 through three additional tiers of 500 levels, bringing the maximum total levels to 2,000 or as they are referring to it, your max level will be level 500 tier three, AKA prestige three. Battle pass, nothing of note here. However, the triple take will be the reactive skin for those interested. Ranked changes, entry costs will be plus five across the board. Kill RP, they removed the diminishing returns on eliminations. So basically you get rewarded fully for your kills, even if you have a bunch. Ranked reset of six divisions has returned. Laser sights, new attachment to replace barrels for SMGs and pistols. This laser sight will reduce hip fire spread when you using. Reduction is better the higher the rarity of the attachment. Care package changes. G7 and Vault back to the ground. The bow check bow and the rampage added to the care package. Replicator changes. Wingman and car return to ground loot. Devotion and RE45 with hammer points get added to the replicator. Gold weapons for season 14. Longbow, G7, Mozambique, R99 and Hemlock. Weapon changes. SMGs and assault rifles as a whole will now have an increased base hip fire spread. Eva 8. Recoil improvements now uses stocks. Removed one pellet from the blast pattern. Fire rate has been increased to 2.3 from 2.0. Pellet damage has been increased to 7 from 6. Shotgun bolt rate of fire bonuses have been increased. White has no changes. Blue went from 1.15 to 1.2. Purple went from 1.2 to 1.3. Basically, shotgun bolts increase fire rate more than they used to. Bow check bow. Remember, this is in the care package now, so it's getting a buff. Damage at full draw increased to 70 from 60. Tempo draw speed increased to 0.38 from 0.3. Two. Shatter Caps pellet damage increased to 12 from 11. Fired arrows can no longer be collected as they have been removed from the floor loot. Rampage, also in the care package, which means a buff. Damage increased to 28 from 26, and the Rampage will come with a free thermite. Vault SMG removed from the care package, so it needs a nerf. The damage has been reduced to 15 from 17. G7 Scout, also removed from the care package, so again, it needs a nerf. Damage reduced to 34 from 36. Headshot multiplier reduced to 1.75 from 2. Point zero, double tap hop up burst fire delay increased to 0.4 from 0.375. L star increased projectile speed, increased number of shots before overheat at base to 24 from 20, removed bright red flash when hitting non armored targets. RE45, remember this is now in the replicator, increased iron sight field of view to 70 to be consistent with other pistols, increased strafe speed by 5% to be consistent with other pistols too. Wingman now uses sniper ammo, Spitfire, vertical re Recoil barrel climb has been increased and it now uses light ammo. 3030 repeater. Dual loader has been added to the base 3030. Skull piercer can now be used with the 3030 also. Mastiff, remember this is in the care package. Projectile growth reduced. Base fire rate reduced to 1.1 from 1.2 and dual loader has been removed. Sentinel, dead eyes tempo has been added to the base sentinel. Ammo changes. Sniper ammo stacks will now be 28 instead of 24, which means sniper ammo pickups will contain 14 rounds instead of 12. Hop ups, double tap adds burst Burst fire mode to the Eva 8 and G7. Skull Piercer. 35% headshot damage increased on the longbow, wingman, and 3030. Dead Eyes Tempo and Shatter Caps have been removed from the floor loot. Boosted Loader has been reduced to epic quality from legendary. Gold Backpack Perk has been changed. It's now called Deep Pockets, which means large med supplies can now stack higher. For example, you can now carry three batteries and med kits instead of two, and you can now carry two Phoenix kits instead of one. Gold Knockdown Shield Perk has changed also. The Gold Knockdown now has Guardian Angel, aka it provides the old gold bag res. So this means that Lifeline gets the gold knockdown. Self revive has been completely removed from the game. Arc star changes, reduce stick damage on armor to 10 from 40. Remove the aim slow when you get stuck. So you will still be able to aim at normal speed until it detonates. This is a great change. Detonation damage has been increased to 75 from 70. Explosive holds, added blue attachments to possible spawns, added laser sights to the pool, reduce the spawn rate of gold magazines. Legend changes, you Valk mains are not not going to be happy. Valkyrie, VTOL Jets. Acceleration on activation decreased by about 8%. Fuel consumption on activation has been increased by 33%. Aerial boosting and strafing takes a 20% debuff when hit by slowing effects and added a third orange state to the fuel meter UI between green and red. This just lets you know when your fuel is getting lower. Missile Swarm, the aiming and turning slow effect has been removed, which means when you're hit by her tactical, you won't have any turning or aiming slowdown. The move slow has also been 
been reduced when hit by her tactical to 2 seconds from 2.5 and the explosion radius has been reduced from 175 to 125. Sky would dive aka Valx get out of anything free card aka her ultimate. Height reduction of 25%. Launch time has been reduced from 5.5 seconds to 5 seconds. Combine this with the reduced height, Valk will now travel slower on the upward movement of her ultimate, making her much easier to hit. Horizon, Black Hole now has a new hitbox to make it easier to destroy and explosives now do 50% more damage to the Black Hole. Newcastle, increased movement speed during revive by 25%, reduced turn slow while reviving by 50%, increased white knockdown shield health from 150 to 200, increased blue knockdown shield health from 250 to 300, mobile shield aka his tactical now has increased HP from 350 to 500 and the max movement speed of this shield has been doubled. Castle Wall, you now get a turn slow if you are hit by an enemy castle wall and the severity of the slow to movement has also been increased. Mad Maggie, Riot Drill, Projectile Launch Speed has been doubled, Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball will now travel twice as far while dropping the same amount of magnets. The duration has been increased from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Magnet Spawn Delay increased from 0.4 seconds to 0.8 seconds. Wrecking Ball will now also deal damage to placed objects which includes the Black Market, Castle Walls, Death Totem, Mobile Shield, Black Hole, Amped Cover, Gas Barrels and it will also destroy Gibraltar's Dome. Yes, Gibraltar's Dome now has a counter. Rampart, now ignores friendly collision on cover placement which means it will be much easier to place your walls around teammates. Mirage, Mirage decoys will now be scanned by Valkyrie and they will also be picked up by Sears Heartbeat Sensor. Revenant, Death Totem will show a placement preview before you can place it down. Crafting update, team use of harvesters. So the entire team no longer needs to run around and collect each harvester. For example, you can send one player to get all the materials while the other two craft and save a shit ton of time. There has also been a bunch of price changes for a bunch of items which I am not going to go over here. Maps. For pubs matches, we will now have Kings Canyon, World's Edge and Storm Point only. Olympus has been removed. Not happy about this, but what can you do? Every Battle Royale map has had some tweaks to its settings. Replicators and crafting materials have been rebalanced across all maps and there has been some drastic ring adjustments. Ring 1 damage has been increased to 3 HP per tick from 2. So basically Ring 1 damage is now the same as Ring 2 damage in Season 13. The Ring 1 pre-shrink time has been decreased to 60 seconds from 180 seconds. And the Ring 1 closing time across all maps has been increased by about 20 seconds and World's Edge Ring 1 closing time has been increased by about 50 seconds. Quality of life changes. is now a new mode and map name UI on loading screens and starting flows. Winning and champion tags have been added to the scoreboard. Ability to use tap interact options when they conflict with a hold. This means controller players can now reload while next to a down teammate. This has been needed for too long, but it's finally here to balance out the gameplay experience against mouse and keyboard players. When landing from the dropship, name of the point of interest you landed in will now be displayed on your screen. And there's a huge range of bug fixes, which I'm not going over here. This video has already been insanely long. I literally kept this as short as possible, but this is the biggest patch notes I think we've ever had. So let me know what you think. I am excited. And don't forget to hit the like button and follow for more videos.